Because oh, I'd wow. seen him like improvise in other scenes and go mental and like smash things up and like, yeah. You know I mean, I was like, what's he planning on doing now? I'm, yeah. like, I'm meant to be gone. <laughs> I'm meant to be out of here. <laughs> and he's there like looking at me with his scary white face just like that. And I'm like. <laughs> I need to speak to you about Joker, mate, because I am a huge, huge fanboy of it. Um, you played Gary in the 2019 yeah. film Joker, directed by Todd Phillips. Yeah. The the natural start to this segment is how did that all come about, right from the first little moments of it? Cool. Uh, well, yeah, my agent uh, messaged me saying that they've got an audition in. Uh, had no idea what it was, um, so she sent me a script, like just a couple of scenes, and... Uh, it was awesome. But yeah, yeah. I mean, all the names are different and like they give you no clues to what it is. Dude, that's... Oh. Yeah, yeah, that happens quite a lot. Why yeah, is yeah. that? I don't know, because they're trying to keep it a secret. They'll only tell you what it is like if you get it. Do you know what I mean? So then oh. nobody else can leak it. You know, That's like, smart, yeah. yeah, yeah. Did, did, was that the same with Game of Thrones? Or did uh, you... No, with that, they just said it's Game of Thrones. I think there would have been too much to change to make it... You know what I mean? And I guess with Game of Thrones, the story was kind of already out there anyway, yeah. wasn't it, in book form? So. Well, and it was but, season six. Yeah. But, um, yeah. And yeah, but with Game of Thrones, when they sent you the script, they you had to do something on your email account that massively it was a right pain in the ass for ages because like to access my emails, I had to go through loads of different like passwords and stuff like this. Oh right. Pain in the ass, but yeah. I had to have that on my account the whole time whilst I had the Game of Thrones script on it. It was annoying. What do you? Sorry, what do you mean by that? That like, extra security. Yeah, they uh, added. Oh. So, yeah, they made you add some extra security to your emails. Oh, yeah, so in case you got hacked? Yeah, yeah, I guess. Oh, yeah, fucking yeah. hell. Yeah, it was mad. Uh, but yeah, none of that with Joker. They just, you know, hid what it was. Mm -mm. Um, so yeah, uh, did an audition. I was like, wow, that's, whatever that is, is fucking brilliant. Was there a specific scene you got given? or? Uh, there was a couple. But yeah, like the, the, the apartment scene, yeah, that was in there. Um, but yeah, so my old flatmate, Steve, like he helped me do it and... Uh, we were hanging after a festival, <laughs> you know what I mean? So we left it till really late. And uh, How did but, yeah, they... we knew it was really good, like the script, and uh, we felt really good about what we'd done, sent it off. And then like a couple of weeks later, I was filming something else in Germany and my agent called me and uh, basically she'd had a phone call from uh, Warner Brothers saying like, we're really interested in Lee, keep his dates free and all that. Not an official full yes, mm -hmm. but basically letting you know you're in the running. Right. And uh, usually after that point, there's still a whole bunch of waiting, which is hell. Yeah, so, I bet, uh, I bet. Yeah, I was like, fuck that. I'm just going to book a ticket to New York, meet them in person. Because I was like, all the American guys that auditioned probably met him, met him in person. There's certain advantages to that. Can can sort of wine and dine yeah, them a little you, you bit. Can yeah. make a make a make an impression. And, yeah. Whereas I'm just a stranger on a video, do you know what I mean? So I was like, no, I want to I wanna have all the chance I can get. Because I'd figured out it was Joker by that point, because they said it was Todd Phillips directed it. Oh. So yeah, as soon as I figured out it was Joker, I was like, I'm booking a ticket. So you just did that off your own back, <laughs> yeah, back yeah. sort of thing. That's so yeah, fucking sick. Got my agent to lie and say that um, I was visiting friends. <laughs> what? Whilst Lee's there visiting friends, why don't you see him in person? Oh, I'm wow. there just saying, like, please see me quick. I'm running out of fucking money. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, uh, but yeah, I ended up staying in New York for 10 days because, uh, like, uh, Todd wanted to meet me in person. So I waited for ages for Todd. Mm. <laughs> Bloody hell, Todd. No, it was awesome. Um, wow. Yeah, and then uh, I had a really, yeah, as soon as really clicked with him and I had a great feeling after that that I probably got it. In that tape, are you acting out like the scenes that we're that we'd then see in the film? Yeah, but I mean, the, there's always changes and they're different. Yeah. Because like, Joaquin improvises a lot. Does he? Yeah, so it's all, you know, different. What, what kind of stuff does he do? I'm so fascinated by this. He just like, adds stuff like that's usually brilliant. You, you know, <laughs> you know the scene that we keep alluding to with the head smashing on the wall yeah, and stuff. Yeah, yeah. There's a little bit where he goes ah, at you, isn't there? Yeah, yeah, they made that up. Yeah, obviously. Oh. And like the bit where he talks in an English accent, like fucking crazy, isn't it? Me on the telly. He made that up. I think he only did that a couple of times. I was like, was, it was cool. They made it into the final mix. Fuck. Mix, the, the the final edit. Yeah. And, uh, he actually made up. So in the script, he's you know I can't reach to get out and mm. ask for help, and uh, he's meant to just come. He meant to say, oh, sorry, Gary, and he comes and opens it, and I leave, right? Um, I remember the first time, like, he came over and, like, opened it, like, an inch, and then closed it again. I'm stood there, like, why the fuck's he closing the door? Like, I'm like, oh, dear. 
Because oh, I'd wow. seen him like improvise in other scenes and go mental and like smash things up and like. Yeah, you know I mean, I was like, "What's he planning on doing now? I'm, yeah. I'm meant to be gone. <laughs> I'm meant to be out of here." <laughs> and he's there, like looking at me with his scary white face, just like that. And I'm like, "That's so intense." Yeah, man. You, you don't consider that, do you? When you're thinking, "Oh, yeah. they've made this up on the spot," and you're going, "That's class." Then you've got yeah. to think, "Well, there's other people who don't realize that he's yeah, about yeah. to make that up, and they're trying to stick to their script." But like, he ended it way more like beautifully. I thought, you know, his little line, like, "You were the only one that was ever nice to me." Or, yeah. The kiss on the head. I was like, "That's such a better ending." And he fucking made that shit up. He's a genius. Did he really? Yeah, man. He's so good. He's very good. He deserved the Oscar. Yeah. Fuck him. Yeah, hell. Man. It's unreal. He's I he's mad. Magic. Oh yeah, I, I, who he, I've heard he's quite like an intense person, which is yeah, fine yeah. because I think that that's why he's so good, isn't it? But like, mm. where, where, was he was he approachable on set or not really? Well, he approached me. Did he? Yeah, yeah. Because I, I was like, you know, just trying to give him his you know space because he's doing something extra. Mm. Yeah, you know I mean, like there's an area where most of the other actors like are sat in between breaks and stuff like that, but like whacking out his own spot, and he's like chain smoking the whole time, like. In character, he's just always smoking. Mm. So he had his own little area to sit and that, like, I guess he could do his thing. Mm. You know what I mean? So I, I would never want him to be, like, going to find him. All right, mate! Yeah. You know, like... Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, he kept... There was a few moments where he'd sort of, like, cornered me. No, <laughs> no there's a few moments Here's Johnny he, Vega! Yeah, yeah. Bang! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this one's for Johnny. Joaquin <laughs> comes in with a big dildo. <laughs> <laughs> if that's not Joker 2 I don't want to see it <laughs> uh, but yeah like he, he came up and spoke to me we had a few nice moments on set and that but it was it was really nice um, me and him kind of properly I guess uh, the London premiere was the first time I saw him after working with him mm. that was like 10 months later mm -hmm. and it was like he looked like an entirely different person yeah, you know I mean? he put all his weight back on he was like happy, healthy, and, like, he was super cool, like, lovely bloke, and, yeah, got to see him, like, a whole bunch from now on, like, you know, a couple of premieres and then all the awards seasons and stuff like that, like, yeah. got to, you know, hang out with him a little bit at all of those, and he's, yeah, lovely bloke. He didn't, he, he, didn't he meet your mum and dad as well? Yeah, yeah, it was great. <laughs> um, yeah, so my mum and dad were pretty excited. They came to the London premiere with me, mm. and, uh, yeah, when, you know, before the film started, Joaquin and Todd, they just spent the entire time stood chatting with my mum and dad. And, like, you know, my parents are overexcited and stuff, wanting photos and stuff. But, like, <laughs> they didn't mind. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. it was really cool. What's the story you had where um, you went to look around the sets and stuff and then he uh, yeah, didn't yeah, whack yeah. him come in or something? Yeah, yeah, he terrified me. <laughs> um, yeah, I was just being nosy, man. You know what I mean? Like, sometimes you have long breaks. Yeah. And you can either sit there or you can just poke around a bit that's 100% you know I mean? how I yeah, do yeah like you're on a movie set like yeah. I think that's cool as shit yeah you know I, mean? I, ne I never stop thinking that's cool I yeah. I'm intrigued to see like because people make everything you mm. know what I mean I, I want to go around and appreciate the sets and be like wow that's cool yeah like so yeah I was bored nosy I was walking around the like apartment set and I was in uh, Arthur's mum's bedroom just looking at some stuff and uh <laughs> Wacky must have creeped in behind me like a stealthy cat because <laughs> I turned around I didn't hear him get on the bed at all I just turned around it was kind of like because it wasn't lit to be filmed in yeah so it was quite dark in there moody but his white makeup sort of glowed oh he had that on did he's he? just sat there like you know just in his trousers topless in the white makeup and he's just staring at me I turned around like Jesus <laughs> You know, and then awkwardly trying to make conversation with him because he's like, I want to just get out of here, but I'm like, yeah. I'm sorry, you know, where did you grow up then? Like, <laughs> did he not say anything? Jesus, he was just awkwardly answering me, like, but like, just weirdly sort of in character. He's I don't so know what skinny. the hell was going on. Yeah. With his top off, was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just awkward. I, like, yeah, he, he terrified me in an awkward conversation. 